Well, IOHK ever IPO? You know, I own 100% of the company and it would be problematic for me if I had to actually be a CEO of a publicly traded company. Uh, then I'd have to have a media person that tells me what I'm allowed to say and then the SEC would do this. It's, it's a lot to be part of a public. I, I'm friends with a lot of guys who are CEOs of um, Fortune 500 companies. And, you know, we'd have dinner and they'd tell me all the horror stories and things they had to do and, you know, all the stuff they had to deal with, activist shareholders suing them. So I, I'm not so keen on these types of things. Uh, but, you know, the world is changing and uh, maybe it, somewhere on the road uh, we could do like IOHK becomes a security token and then there's a more easy way of managing that and then the whole company can be led bottom up. It would make a lot more sense. Uh, so, uh, so... The, the ship hasn't quite sailed for that, but I'm not optimistic under current U.S. securities regulations to go pursue that. Uh, I enjoy being a mission-oriented company. You know, our point is not about profit. We wake up every day and we say, well, we have to make money to keep the lights on, so let's do that. But we're a mission company. And what that means is that every day we say, how do we build products that give people economic identity? How do we give people products where... You own your, you are your own bank, you are your own identity, you are your own data store. Uh, basically, all the things you need to interface with society, you control that or at least have to give consent for someone else to be a middleman there, as opposed to the current system where you don't control anything. If we became a publicly traded company where the only thing that mattered was shareholder profit quarterly returns, then suddenly we'd be like Google, where you know they say, don't be evil, but let's go work with China. Uh, don't be evil, but then let's go work with the NSA and these other things. I um, I don't want to go down that road. So if we could find a way to preserve the soul and the integrity of the organization and the mission of the organization, but also make that compatible with the way that these things are, uh, that would make some sense because it would help diversify the organization. But I'm going to finish Cardano first. Let's, let's get all that done before I even think about these crazy things.